Hello everyone, it is Andrew here from iDownloadBlog. Today we're going to take a look at the new update to Sonic the Hedgehog 1, which has now made its way to the Apple TV. This is in way of a update to their existing application for iPhone and iPad. So if you have that already, then you have the Apple TV version. So this will obviously only work on the new Apple TV fourth generation that actually has an app store. Currently, it is the top app available, and we will put a link down below. If you don't have it already, you can pick it up for iPhone, iPad, and your new Apple TV. Now this is the full game, so this is not some shortened version or some mobile version. This is the entire original Sonic the Hedgehog 1 with a few added features to it, such as the fact that you can play with other characters, not just Sonic. You do have to unlock them first, so don't think you can just go playing with Tails right out of the gate. If you have not played this before, it is a great port of the classic game. There are different saving options, so you can save multiple games to track your progress. You can play as Sonic, Tails or even Knuckles if you have them unlocked and get a decent amount through this game. The graphics themselves are so charming. This is basically just a complete throwback to the original game and this has been out for a while on iOS which they did a great job bringing into the iPhone and iPad but this really makes it feel complete now that we can play it on the Apple TV. Now it does use the Siri remote because Apple requires that all apps use the Siri remote, though you can use an external MFI controller if you have one. All you have to do is swipe left or right to move. You can just hold on the right side. You don't actually have to click. You just hold on that right side of the joystick, or not joystick, but trackpad to move to the right side of the screen. And if you click or click and hold, that is what allows you to jump. Now the controls here are kind of kind of clunky using the actual Siri remote. So it is much preferred if you do use an external controller like the Steel Siri Nimbus, which Apple has kind of toted quite a bit about since their keynote. This really does make it feel basically like a console game. Granted, an old console, but a console game nonetheless. You simply use the joystick on the left and the A button to jump and move around. It feels much more natural this way, and I'd be lying if I said I didn't end up playing this quite a bit when I was trying to shoot these reviews. This is available on the iPhone as well, so if you don't want to play it on your Apple TV, you can always play it on the go on your iPhone, and it even works on the iPad. They have a full version for the iPad as well, so this is a universal application, one purchase, all of these devices. So for $3, I really think that's worth it. This is a great game to play on the Apple TV. One little bit of a downside is even though it supports Game Center, it does not actually sync your progress across all the platforms. So if I start on my iPhone, it does not pick me up there on my Apple TV. You do have to kind of start over. The link for this will be down in the description below if you want to pick it up for yourselves, but you can also find it just on the Apple TV App Store. Please let us know what you think of Sonic the Hedgehog on your Apple TV, and please subscribe if you found this video useful. And until next time, this has been Andrew for iDownloadBlog.